Hi, Ian Roberts, and welcome to Mastering Composition and Simplifying the Painting Process. If you would like to get these videos on your inbox each week, you've got a link down below. You'll also get a free 17-minute video on the single most important thing about compositional structure, and that's engaging the vertical. And I don't send out emails about any other topic. It's just one email a week on this Mastering Composition video. So last week, I took a street scene and I simplified it dramatically into light and dark shapes. And I had intended to do a drawing of a, an interior this week, but one viewer said, could you paint that? And another viewer said, could you explain warm and cool temperature? I find that a little confusing. And so I thought, you know what? I can do two in one this week. So I'm going to take the same scene and I'm going to use two tools, light and dark and warm and cool. Because it's still the light and dark value masses that are doing the work. Value does the work, color gets the attention. So I'll start off with the photo again and then the drawing. And then there'll just be about a minute of me painting it in, but there'll be a second link. There'll be a link down below where you can, a second video where you can watch me paint for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, just as I'm blocking the whole thing in. Uh, that link will be down below. And then I'll finish with an analysis of the painting, of the structure, and the simplification. And I hope you enjoy it. So structurally, we obviously have the same thing as before. We've got a line here, and obviously the one-point perspective is taking us back to here. And even though we've gone to color, the masses are identical. We have a large gradation pushing us in, lit side, dark side, lit side, dark side. Only now we have color temperature. Obviously, the blue is cool, and we've got some warmth here. Certainly, we've got some warmth here. But look at the relationship between this and this white color to becoming blue, just the way you would see in snow, right? Over to here, where you have bricks, which are reddish, sort of, and then add to that blue, you get sort of a purple color here. So the value shift is the same, but we're enhancing it with color temperature. So all this down here is in shadow, and I'm putting a pale pink here to push our attention, just like up here, back to the edge here. And then all this stuff, I'm just kind of faking all the complexity there so it's like you know streets and cars and people and trees and all that stuff have all just been sort of thrown in together to give enough complexity without it actually getting busy so as always i hope you enjoyed that i hope you have a great week like the video if you did like it subscribe sign up for the email i hope you're well i'll see you next tuesday bye for now